guys, welcome back to the channel. You may notice the buzz with your cuz there, but it is not Thursday. It's because we're doing something really cool, something we like to do for family and friends, but eat all of on our own as well. And that is Guinness beer battered onion rings. We're getting you ready to do this yourself. Super easy, very cost effective, super flavorful. Okay, you will never eat another frozen onion ring ever again after this. Oh, and I'm also here to talk about subscribing to the channel, commenting below. If you just subscribed, tell us below. And check out my brand new colored bright shirt, Buzz With Your Cuz t-shirt. Nice and orange, safety orange, so everybody knows where we are. Really super important, you could get yours too. Uh, they come in all different sorts of shapes and sizes and, uh, and colors. I really like this orange, it kind of pops. But uh, let's talk about popping open this beer. Let's talk about upscaling any single barbecue or party that you have. Heck, I would do this in the middle of the week without even thinking twice about it. In fact, we're about to do it right now. Our ingredient list is pretty easy today. We're gonna use two onions, you know why? Any more? you're gonna have a lot more work to do. So yeah, you have to put some labor in for these things, so it's actually not free. So two onions, or uh, I would say about one large onion per person. <laughs> we, we love these things, so they go pretty quickly. We're gonna use a quart of oil. Any oil will do. More about that later. 12 ounce bottle of beer. Guinness beer, that's our recommendation. Any dark beer will do. Three large eggs. One cup plus two tablespoons all-purpose flour. Salt and pepper. Let us show you how we can turn flour, eggs, and yeast to take one of these things and make it good to eat. But before I do that, I gotta change out of this shirt. I am not getting any flour or anything on this thing today. Brand new, new shirt. See you in a minute. All right, guys, this is where the fun begins. We have uh, two large onions. Uh, we like sweet onions or Vidalia. Definitely stay away from red onions. You want that nice, sweet flavor. Peel the onions, uh, slice them crosswise, as you see us doing, um, into about one inch thick slice. That should be pretty good. Nice, uh, nice meaty onion ring. And then we're going to separate each slice into their own individual rings and then begin the process of removing the papery thin membrane from inside of each ring. And you might be wondering why we think it's worth it to go through the trouble of removing that thin membrane. Simply put, it helps that dredge in the, in the fry stay all the way around the onion ring. There is nothing worse than pulling them out of the oil and finding that uh, that nice crispy batter has fallen off the inside or whole pieces of the onion. Then we're gonna start heating up our oil. You could use peanut oil, uh, canola oil, basically any oil that you like. Um, we have a tabletop fryer and a pan. Uh, either one will work. You're gonna wanna get, to get that oil up to about 375 degrees Fahrenheit and also set up a baking sheet with a paper towel on the side. You're gonna need it to get all of that oil off. While your oil is heating, you're going to wanna to go ahead and start whisking the other ingredients together. But here we're, we're adding in three large eggs. Okay, so make sure you get all the beer out of there. We don't wanna miss any beer. We drank two and uh, used one for, for the actual onion rings. And the most important ingredient to me, buzz with your cuz, is the Guinness beer. Uh, that dark malt deep flavor is going to make a really delicious onion ring. We're putting two tablespoons of that all-purpose flour in the bowl with our freshly ground salt and pepper. And we're going to put the remaining one cup of flour in another shallow dish so that we can dredge. That's the fun part.
Then we're gonna begin dredging those onion rings in the flour, knock off some of the excess, and then toss those onions in the beer batter. Again, drip, uh, let the batter drip off, and then we're gonna fry them. As we fry the batch of rings, we're gonna turn them once or twice. Um, they're really gonna be about four minutes in the oil, and then you're gonna start to see them get nice and golden brown. And then we'll uh, skim them out and drain them on the baking sheet. Uh, season them immediately after with salt and continue until all of your onion rings have been cooked. That Guinness makes these onion rings so Tasty. It's like that beer that's, you know, I called the yeast earlier. It's kind of, yeah, it is a leavening agent for this. You really get that, that sweetness of the Guinness. It's just uh, amazing with that onion. That is why you subscribe to this channel. That is why you tuned in when you saw this video today. And we hope you'll tune in again on Thursday to catch a buzz with your cuz. When you have onion rings that are beer battered, you should also have another drink to go with it, and we're gonna take care of that for you. So uh, we'll see you then. Until then, I'm gonna go finish up on these onion rings, uh, put in a lot of work. Now it's time to reap the rewards.